Hurricane Hillary in the eastern North Pacific. This storm will likely be a rare one that brings impact to Southern California. Meteorologist Griffin Hardy joins us in studio with more perspective on how rare it is for California to see impacts from tropical storms or hurricanes, right Griffin? Yeah, that's right, Carol. And part of the reason for that is because the ocean temperatures off the coast of California normally really cold as they are right now. Farther to the south of that where, Hill, uh, where Hurricane Hillary is now, ocean temperatures are a lot warmer. We all know that hurricanes like to thrive on those warm ocean temperatures. And normally you don't hear about those hurricanes making it that far north, far north where the ocean's a lot colder. But Hurricane Hillary may be one of those rare exceptions that actually holds together in time to bring impacts to Southern California. It's a category two hurricane now 110 miles per hour moving west northwest at 14 miles per hour. It's going to make that turn up to the north uh, and up towards Southern California and Baja California over the next couple of days, and it will be weakening as it does so. But even if it makes it as a tropical storm into Southern California, this will be a pretty rare event. You see the forecast track there passing right to the east of Los Angeles and up into Nevada and all the way to Oregon before it actually dissipates. So if it actually holds together as a tropical storm, that will be the first time that that, that that has happened since 1997 and the rainfall amounts looking really impressive with this, especially towards Palm Springs and places like Coachella Valley to the east of Los Angeles could be picking up four to six inches of rain. It's important to remember this is a desert where they're picking up this much rainfall, so that is possibly record breaking for uh, for the region. So that's definitely something we'll be keeping our eyes on as Hillary moves up to the north. So just to recap why it's significant remnant storms in California, they are pretty common. They usually happen once every one to two years. But this is different. This is possibly an inland tropical storm we're talking about, and that would be again the first time that this has happened since 1997 when the remnants of Hurricane Nora passed through as a tropical storm. And then the rainfall totals very impressive for places like Palm Springs could be the highest amount of rainfall they've seen since 1976 when the remnants of Hurricane Kathleen passed through all that time ago. So we'll definitely be watching it as it moves closer to California. Back to you.